Isaiah and Latasha have had seven children and not a single one of them is a teenager until now. Cameron is going to be a teenager. Finally, we get some help around the farm that can do everything an adult can do. Okay, and she has to go all the way outside to age up. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 based on a, a challenge from the Lucid Simmer. A link to the rules will be in the description below, as well as a link to the challenge's creator, the Lucid Simmer. Now, Isaiah and Latasha have this huge farm, and I actually expanded it according to the rules for how much they have completed, and we built a greenhouse. So it is currently fall, and what I'm going to do is plant all of these crops for the last time and hopefully they will all be harvested before winter comes because I don't think it would be realistic for us to be planting and harvesting crops during the winter season. So we're only going to have the place in the greenhouse for the winter season. But the good thing about that is that we'll be able to grow plants even out of season. And I did build the butler or the farmhand, his own little house over here. So he has a nice house that is good for a single person. It has a couch, it has a bookshelf, it has a very expensive stereo, and it has a little kitchen, a place to eat, and a bedroom. So I actually like this little house, it's actually quite cute. And then we also have the tree house now is being used by the next two children. So Pablo and Malia are going to be sleeping in the treehouse because they decided that they like the outdoors so much that they want to be in the treehouse just like their parents were when they were kids. And then Cameron and Wade, of course, have their own rooms upstairs in the main house. So they're going to keep these two rooms and then May, her birthday is tomorrow. When she ages up, she will move into the toddler room. And there will only be one toddler. Because for some reason, May was only a single child. We didn't get twins with her. So I have made a gardening group or a club that has care for the animals, garden, fish, juice fizzing, and do homework. So hopefully I won't have to micromanage them as much. As you can see, Latasha is already gardening and I hope she's encouraging crop growth because that's what we really need. Isaiah, did you plant that app? Yeah, they are encouraging crop growth. Okay, good. So I will not have to tell them to, to do that. They will actually just do it on their own. But we need to get some of these in here planted because I want everything planted first and then we'll worry about gardening. And here comes Grim to take more of my chickens. Yeah, I have a lot of chickens that unfortunately are nearing the end of their lifespan and I can't do anything to, to save the chickens other than turning animal aging off or even giving them treats to prolong their life. And here they all come. Oh, so Peyton found a ring in Braylon's bag. I think he's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes, no, gah. Say yes, of course. And now Peyton is getting married to Braylon after we fix those two up. Well, good morning, May, or good night. Everyone else is going to sleep, but it's time to age May up into a toddler. Aww. She's going to be having a birthday today. Uh, that is, if I can do it in here. Okay, she got the unhappy infant trait, but that's because I actually wanted her to have that one. Not because she wasn't necessarily taken care of, but she needs to not in place here because she's actually going to be the heir so she's going to be independent and she's a toddler hello may so cute you have the nice star wars hair oh that's awesome
Valerie is now an elder, so the dog is no longer able to have puppies. Oh, Latasha's gone into labor. Okay, don't give Shaky a bath. Let's go upstairs and have the baby. Okay, Latasha's having a baby. Will we get twins this time? One or three? Who knows? Um, I almost never get triplets, so most likely just twins. Okay, we have a boy. His name is going to be John. And we have a girl whose name is going to be Tracy. And that's it. Just twins. Like I said, I hardly ever have triplets. Mostly twins with the ley line lot trait. And for some reason, the fertility trait doesn't seem to get twins very often. Well, now we can clean this area up a bit because I don't need three bassinets. Oh no, Shaky's dying and he's outside of the chicken area. That's so sad. We're going to lose Shaky this time. What I did last time was when the Grim Reaper came and he didn't get to take Shaky, I just reset Shaky's age bar so we wouldn't have to have him die every day. But now he is going to be gone for good. Where is the Reaper? There he is. Okay. Well, the chickens are going to come out and attack the Reaper anyway, but unfortunately it's not going to help because Shaky is outside of the fenced area for the chickens. And I can't let the chickens go everywhere because the fox comes and kills them. So, unfortunately, we can't keep Shaky indefinitely. Um, I guess... The Grim Reaper didn't get shaky this time. Okay, so he doesn't have to stay in the chicken area. I thought that's the reason why Pudley didn't get saved last time is because he died while outside of the chicken area. But no, it looks like Shaky's been saved again. Okay, well, I'm going to reset his age from Elder. Uh, so he's going to stay in Elder. I just reset the lifespan so his bar is no longer glowing. Otherwise, every time I reload the game, and pretty much every day, Grim tries to come and take him. And it's just so annoying to do it over and over again. And we could get treats from the vet in order to reset his age back down to adult. But I think that that's a little bit cheaty. I don't mind the evil chickens because that's still a chance. They don't always save him. Sometimes they fail. Hey, Isaiah, Brandon Montez has asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? Well, Anaya, you're an elder, but that's okay. You should still look for love. Wade is inviting over Carrie. Okay, we get to meet a new person. I don't know if Carrie is someone who lives here. Probably not. That's the one thing I don't like about the schools is that they go to school with kids who are not even in the same area. Oh, in this case, I think she might be part of the Scott family. I just haven't seen her before or don't remember her. Yeah, she is Sean Scott and Billy Jang's child. So she's a grandchild of the original Scots. All right, it is John and Tracy's birthday. It's just the... Too many things happen on the farm, and there's too much to do. I mean, I can't even get anything done in their social lives because they're so busy farming. And happy birthday, John. We'll make them all Wiggly. I think that Wiggly tends to get more skills faster, but it's just so slow. You actually have to work to get their milestones. I don't think that you should have to work to get them. I think that they should happen on their own. Unless, of course, the baby is always hungry or always dirty or something like that. All right. And we're going to also age up his sister. Happy birthday, Tracy. We have two more infants. And you're also going to be Wiggly. So now Tracy and John are little infants. And you're fine. You're both fine. We don't need to have you crying. 
Okay, John, we're going to see if we can get you to lift your head right away. I know you just turned into an infant, but we have no teenagers yet. And I really need some teenagers in order to get this farm working. Okay, he's obviously lifting his head. Why doesn't he get the milestone? During tummy time, they always lift their head. Why can't he get that milestone? This is the third tummy time. It just takes too long. You should get them within the first try if an adult is helping them. And then you should randomly be able to get them if the child is by himself or herself. Okay, this is just ridiculous. Four times I've tried tummy time and did not even get lift head. Okay, finally he got it. Yes, you're a wiggly infant, so you should roll over because you like to wiggle. But no, you're not going to do that. Well, unfortunately, it's raining outside, but I need to get Tracy to lift her head too. So she's going to have to go outside for now. And we've got dust bunnies. I had to get rid of the vacuums because for whatever reason, the vacuums were bugging out and getting stuck and they wouldn't return to the dock. And it wasn't because they were full either. They were just bad pathing or something. Yes, I know it's raining. I'm sorry you're wet, but please learn how to lift your head faster than your brother did. Okay, she's just not going to lift her head. Oh, did she do it? Yes, she did. Oh no, the weeds. That is so many weeds. No, why are you going up here? Oh, I might have to take away this refrigerator. If you're going up here to start a meal... That doesn't work. Yeah, it, you can't be up here to start a meal. This is only for grabbing food. So it looks like Wade and Carrie are getting along. Maybe we should age Carrie up with the twins because their birthday is today. We need to have a party. Okay, I was able to plan a party from Isaiah, and then I edited the party with Wade. So all of his friends are invited, and we'll try and age up the children, at least the children that I think should be about the same age as Wade and Cameron. Isaiah and Latasha have had seven children, and not a single one of them is a teenager until now. Cameron is going to be a teenager. Finally, we get some help around the farm that can do everything an adult can do. Okay, and she has to go all the way outside to age up. All right, so she's going to be an animal enthusiast, and she gets a bonus trait from high self-esteem. So the other thing that she is going to be is, since she is the florist, I think she's going to be creative. And unfortunately, there isn't really a aspiration for flower arranging. So maybe we can choose a nature aspiration and make her a freelance botanist. And we will have to give her a makeover. That does not look like a farm look. Okay. Now I did bake another, or start baking another cake because I knew that someone would probably get to this before I can. But let's see if I can sneak candles back on the cake because I don't think he finished the other one. No, Wade went to talk to someone. Come here, Wade. You're going to be next. And maybe you can finish the cake. And here goes Wade in his nice red suit. You're going to age up, Wade. Yay! All right, you decided to do it inside. So he is going to be a foodie because I want him to be a cook and he's actually going to own his own restaurant if I can ever find. There it is. All right. And I think that he should be a master chef, but unfortunately that requires you to join a career, which he's not going to do. So they don't have an aspiration that really captures what he's going to be doing since he's going to own his own restaurant. Let's just say that he wants to have a big happy family. And that's a nice prom outfit, but it's not really you. Okay, now maybe we can age up some of the friends because some of the friends are actually already teenagers, like Emma and Dominic. 
but I think Carrie should be a teenager. So it would be nice that Carrie is the same age as Wade, because I think that Wade would be interested in maybe going out with Carrie, and of course they have to be the same age for that. So let's see if we even have some compatibility. I didn't check that, and I didn't see what her traits were, but I just assumed since he was talking to her in the treehouse that they might be interested in each other. We'll see. Okay, they're flirty, but they're not really getting any romance between each other. Oh, he says, let's take this outside. Oh, that's kind of cute. Really, it's because there's no room inside. Okay, that's a little bit of romance. That's all I wanted for now. Okay, and it doesn't even show what the compatibility is. Yeah, she has no traits, nothing. Okay, we will have to get to know her then. Okay, she's creative. That's nice. Well, this is the end of fall, and I actually did get all of the plants harvested, all of the crops, that is. And then all of these plants in the corner are either year-round plants or plants that will be good in the winter. There's a couple of them that are only good in the fall, which really should be moved inside, but I ran out of room. So this is our greenhouse and it has enough plants for everything or at least everything that we've been growing so far. And everyone's just enjoying the party. Even little May came and got some cake. Oh, and her attention bar is yellow for some reason, even though she it should be. Yeah, that should be full. And this should be fun. This fun bar should be full. But yeah, he, she's having fun too. Okay, I think we'll call it for now since it's after midnight. Even though it is a teen birthday party though. Oh, who knocked over the trash can? At least I can pick it up. Sometimes when they knock it over, you can't pick it up and that annoys me because I have to buy a new trash can. So I've decided that Latasha and Isaiah's other children should also have something to do with the farm. So each one of them is going to do a certain job when they grow up. We have Cameron, who is right now finishing her homework as a teenager. And she's a flower arranger. So she's actually going to buy a little shop. And the household has actually already bought this retail shop. And what I'm going to do is not only is it going to sell flowers, but we're going to sell food and well my grill needs replacing okay and we're also going to sell cross stitching and candles and everything so she's going to make some flower arrangements and i'm having everyone else work on what they worked on as a child so wade is actually not only going to be a cook but he's also going to repair this um, he actually bought a restaurant, so his deal is that he's going to cook in the restaurant and run the restaurant as the manager, and he's going to get all the fresh ingredients from the farm. And you just keep making candles so quickly. I thought that they took a lot longer to make, but for some reason, she's just very quick at it. All right, so we have our flower arranger, our chef, and don't mind the rain. And then Malia is going to be the cross stitcher. Um, she pricked her finger though. So I have her cooking right now. And she's wandering around trying to figure out where to place that bowl. Yeah, that's the problem with having too many people cooking. So it's raining and not really the best time to show off a building, unfortunately. But this is the farm restaurant. And it actually has living quarters upstairs. So we will have a family living here and the restaurant will be downstairs. And we have a little bit of a indoor dining area and also out some outdoor seating as well as a greenhouse. So this is actually going to be an extension of the family farm. 
And the person who moves in here, Wade, will actually be able to do a little bit of gardening and growing and especially associating with the chickens and having a cow because he still is an animal lover and he likes to get fresh milk and fresh eggs in order to serve them at the restaurant. Okay, and this is the store that we bought. So I think Cameron is going to live here and it's the same thing as the restaurant. Basically, I've renovated the house that was already here because I think it fits the building area so well and I hate trying to do things over again. So basically upstairs, we have a little kitchen area with a dining area, a kid's bedroom with two bunk beds, and a master bedroom, only one bathroom though. And then we have a little nursery nook here so that you can have an infant, a toddler, and two children at the same time. And they can all live upstairs in the store. And downstairs, we have a lot of shelving. So I have put a few things for sale already. I have some flowers here on the counter, but I want to get all of this area full of things because I know that I'm not gonna play very much in these stores, in, in the restaurant or the, the grocery store. But what I really want to do is to be able to visit it once in a while. So we'll have things in the refrigerator that can be bought and then we'll have things out here on the shelves and maybe we'll come back with other generations and just visit the old farmhouse store. I think that would be a pretty cool idea. All right, well, we got some things on the shelves. It's a little bit difficult because I don't feel like organizing it too much, but I think this looks pretty realistic for a grocery shop in The Sims, so. I mean, I probably shouldn't put the fruit next to the fertilizer or the flower next to the fertilizer, but uh, I can't be bothered. So now that Isaiah has returned from the store, he needs to actually have the family, the whole family work on getting more items because I want to fill up all of the shelves. And I maybe filled up about 25% of them. So we'll work on that next week. And right now they're all just getting ready for bed. Okay, it turns out that the only one that's not sleepy is May, which is kind of fitting. So she's going to stay up and do a little bit of skill building and maybe getting something to eat. So this is the end of another week. This is Charity. Thanks for watching.